Hey. Hey, sis. <laughs> David. Oh. How you doing? Oh. It's been a while, man. It's been a while. It's been a while. Yes. You look so great. Nice. Yeah. Looking good, man. Uh, Huh? And how is my Again? We're doing good. Girl. Hey, Pastor. Oh, how are you doing? Hey. 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 Please, hey. please, hey. please hey. don't yab me. I don't want to say. Hey. 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 You look so lovely, sis. Thank you. Thank you. That's me your you. glasses now. The baby wants don't it. worry. Don't worry. I got you. Yours is coming. Good afternoon. Welcome yeah. to Green Box. Can I take your order, please? Yes, please. So for him, we'll have the usual. The grill plate, huh? Yeah, I think that that's good too. Yeah, yeah, okay, they'll have the same thing. But for me, mm. please, mm. I want to have your peppered snail mm. and bread rolls. Mm. <laughs> Abigail, Abigail, eh? Snails again? Mm. Hmm. All I know is that my baby would not be slow. Yes, uh, my baby will not be slow in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. No, it's not my fault now. Every time I'm craving seafood, as a matter of fact, these days, every time I hear food, the only thing that comes to my mind is calamari, mm. prawns, mm. snails. Mm. Mm. <laughs> Your baby's an expensive baby. <laughs> look, look, my dear, feel free. Eat whatsoever you want, no, okay? You're talking. You're permitted. <laughs> Honestly, you know, cravings are a part of every pregnancy. Very true. Mm. I remember when it was Diddy's time. Hey! <laughs> <laughs> it was sardine. I oh, had sardine. God. With sardine is a <laughs> With anything and everything. In fact, <laughs> you know. <laughs> Yeah, oh, you know, know, my mom used to say that it is whatever the baby wants to eat mm. that's transported to the mind of the mother. Mm. Mm. And you better hit him or else ah. <laughs> trouble. Tell, <laughs> tell some people. Okay, 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 okay. Um, on a serious note, mm, before the waiter arrives with the food, I just want to uh, share why I asked us to all meet up today. You remember... God's word to us, right at the point of David's healing, mm. is that he's called us together. Yes. This work that God has called us to do is much bigger than us. Mm. And we can't do it by ourselves. Mm. We cannot. Two things we need to concentrate on. One is devoted on season prayers. Mm -hmm. And two, spending time daily with the Holy Spirit mm. so that he can show us what God wants us to do daily. Mm. You are very correct. You see, last week at the office, a colleague of mine suddenly developed uh, a terrible mm. fever. Then we decided to take her to the hospital. But before then, I helped her into the bathroom. Mm. Right there in the bathroom, the Holy Spirit just spoke to me and said, Timu, Pray. I lay my hands on her and prayed. The fever disappeared immediately. That's right. That's In fact, right. everybody was surprised in the office. They started praising and thanking God. <laughs> ah. <laughs> <laughs> Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, you know, these days, I just get uncomfortable whenever I'm around people who are not born again. And you know, I'm no longer shy. I just go in and preach. Mm -hmm. And the Holy Spirit always gives me an entry angle. And even though it's not everyone I preach to that gives their lives to Christ, but in the past month, I can say I've witnessed a lot of people give their lives to Jesus. Mm -hmm. And it's so beautiful. So beautiful. Wow. Wow. Ah, you know, it's it's, that's actually very true. Yeah. Because God told me that everyone that he brings into my life, mm. friends, colleagues, everyone, and they weren't put there by coincidence. Yes. He put them there because he wants me to point them in the direction of God's love. Mm. Yeah. Four of my colleagues that hitch a ride home with me, we will talk about everything from politics to football, just anything. But now they are filled with the Holy Spirit and born again Hallelujah. by God's yeah. grace. Yeah. It's just amazing. Yeah. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So God expects every single born again Christian to live as ambassadors for his kingdom. It's no longer okay for us to settle our lives around work, business, entertainment, and a pinch of Sunday service. Mm. That's not okay. Mm. It must change. I sense God is starting something new. Mm. It's not going to be about 
pastors preaching to thousands of their congregations mm -hmm. on Sundays alone. Mm -hmm. yeah. mm -hmm. It's now going to be about Christians understanding their calling, mm -hmm. laying hands on the sick, being apostles in the marketplace, mm -hmm. and drawing men and women in their neighborhoods to Christ Jesus. Glory. Mm -hmm. yes. Glory. Mm -hmm. Amen. Amen. You know, KG. <sighs> This all began with your 21-day retreat. Mm. That's yeah. actually very That's true. true. <laughs> and I'm so glad that you obeyed God wow. because indeed it was God ordained. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. It was. Yes. God has invested so much in us. Mm. And I believe it's time, you know, for us to also invest back into the kingdom. Mm. Mm. So, I, you know, I stay a lot of times and I think about all the lost souls out there. And I keep wondering to myself, what is their eternal destiny? I don't think it's fair or even possible for us to sit at the sidelines and watch these people perish. Indeed, God will help us. Amen. Amen. <sighs> okay. The food is here. My snails are here. Somehow. Let's eat. I think it's in order of, of arrival. What's going uh, on? Yeah, I don't understand. <laughs> so other person is still talking about food. I know. Except baby first, then Abigail. The rest of you. Wow. <laughs> and this your snail looks appetizing. I don't want to. How about how about? Uh, 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 uh. Please. Okay. 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 <laughs> Do you want me to say? Your food is half food. Our food is half food. Our wow. food is half food. My food is my food. It's <laughs> only our food. Exactly, exactly. <laughs> okay, how about, how about you? Do you want to try something? Yes, please. Mm. <laughs> I'm not happy either that I couldn't go to church today. I have to do some office work from home. Mom, it's not just me. It's the whole office team. The day is fine. But he has been craving too many sweet things these days, and you cost it. You overindulge him whenever it comes to stay at yours. I don't know why you can't say you no know, to that boy. I know you are the grandmom, but don't spoil him now. Mom, let me talk to you later. Welcome. How was church? Ah, ah, David, what's wrong? How could you? How could you? Charles has been on suspension from church, mm. and I couldn't be bothered why. Today I found out from someone in church that it was because he hit on you. Ah, yes, he did. Oh, no. But I took it off my mind the moment it happened. My focus was just on you getting well at the time. What happened? It was when you were ill, and he promised us the 10 million naira for the surgery. And I went to his office. He started saying rubbish. What? I shunned him and I left. And you didn't tell me? I couldn't have told you then, with the stress you were going through. Then later, it just didn't matter. It didn't matter, but the whole world knows. That's an insult to my person. Imagine Charles hitting on my wife when I was down. And you, being a part of this whole conspiracy. Oh, conspiracy, K. I had better things to think about. And then I knew you'd be angry. Okay, I'm sorry. I'm sorry, I should have told you. Is that, is that, is that a reason you kept this to yourself? Ah, uh, David, why are you saying that to me? Tino, I'm your husband. You don't keep secrets from me. You tell me everything. Come, How are you? Fine, thank you, ma. Long time. Good to see you. You look Sorry. very good. Thank you. Yeah. Yeah. So, so I'd like to do my so pedicure. It's good to see you too, my yeah. darling. I'm beginning to get uncomfortable with my feet. And you know nobody I know does pedicure quite like you. Uh, thank you, ma. You're welcome. Yeah, so just... Okay. Come put your feet in the pan. Okay. Would you like um the basic one or the paraffin? <sighs> I'd like the basic, please, but I want a massage. All right. Please. Sure. You have to be very fast, though. My husband is coming to pick me in an hour. No problem. I'll be fast, ma'am. All right. Thank you. 
Yeah. I um, just need to put the stuff together. Oh. Why did your parents name you Faith? I don't know. But my father's sister's name is Faith. Maybe that's why. Faith is a strong word. It's how we connect with the things we don't see. And it's also how we connect with God. True. God is my best friend. He always stands by me. Steps in when things get too tough for me to handle. Ah, good morning, ma. Good morning, Gloria. How are you? Fine. Faith, how are you? Good morning. How are you? What's your name? Customer never come early. Maybe they're still the church. Gloria, Madam is talking. Ah. Please don't interrupt. Madam, I know God is there, but my life has been too rough. I can't begin to go into details. I used to go to church. My dad insisted. But outside church, it's very terrible to us. The moment I grew old, I left home. And now, I'm no longer religious. I'm not talking about religion, faith. I'm talking about the fact that Christ loves you very dearly. See? I've experienced God's love firsthand. Let me tell you, for 12 years, I was very sick. I was bleeding nonstop, and my life was put on hold. But one day, my sister and I prayed, and God stepped in and answered us, and He healed me completely. Now, my brother in law as well. He was paralyzed, couldn't walk. And I saw how God came in and also healed him, totally. Today he's whole. Wow. Ah, those are powerful testimonies, Ma. Did those really happen? Oh yes, they did. And I can guarantee you that Jesus wants to show you firsthand how much he loves you. Those two testimonies have just blown my mind. Ah. They are deep. I do go to church every Sunday. But this born again thing. Ah, I'm not born again. No. Becoming born again is about taking a decision to believe God and trust Him wholly. For God so loved the world that He gave His only begotten Son, that whoever believes in Him will not perish but have everlasting life. All you need to do is take the decision. I'm ready. Gloria. Yes, ma. You too can be born again. Just believe in your heart that Jesus died for you. And then proceed to speak with your mouth that Jesus is Lord and you'll be saved. Are you ready? Yes, ma. Right. Let us pray. Say this prayer, Lord Jesus. Lord Jesus, come into my heart. Come into my heart. Forgive my sins. Forgive my sins. Yeah, um, David. Oh, yeah. Ken and Chooks, they've been calling for a meeting, so they they said they will find their way home. Oh, okay, okay, yeah. thanks. But wait, wait, you're going now. Let me drop you off. <laughs> you do know my house is far, right? Nah, you're my guy. Don't worry. Hop in. Let me drop you off. All right. All right, then. Thank you very much. Oh, you're welcome. It's nothing. Um, Dami, I, I noticed you were very off-key today in the office. Um, what's up? What's happening? No, it's nothing. I'm, I'm fine. Nah, 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 nah. I know you, guy. 
This is not you. This is not you at all. Tell me what's happening. Well, what good would that do really if I talk about it? Well, you know what they say. A problem shared is a problem halved. Okay. Um, my wife is pregnant. Okay, that's a good thing, right? This will be our third child. Okay. The first two boys, they have hearing impairments. Oh. The doctor said they will be completely deaf by the time they are five years old. Dami is already four years old. Dogba is two. And now my wife is pregnant. To think of the financial drain and the emotional drain this has cost me. Whoa, whoa, whoa. I, I can only imagine how difficult this must be for you right now. I beat myself up all the time. No, no. Okay, what happens if this third child now has the same problem? Mm -mm. No, listen. God will solve this problem for you. <laughs> Come on, man. Everybody says that. It's beginning to sound like a cliche. Let me, let me tell you something you most likely don't know. I was paralyzed for a couple of days last month. I would lie down stare and stare at my legs willing them to move but nothing will happen i couldn't even move my toes that's how bad it was i was terrified scared my wife was running around everywhere trying to raise money for a surgery that we were not even sure was going to be successful <laughs> and then god stepped into my room my brother-in-law you probably don't know this but he's also a pastor and he came in he laid his hands on my legs and he prayed for me within seconds. Like, it's, it seems so surreal. Within seconds, I was able to walk again like nothing ever happened. I can never, ever in my life doubt God's healing power. Never. Yeah, I, I remember the time you were ill, but I, I didn't quite get the details. As big and as huge, as powerful as God is, it will surprise you to know he's waiting at the sidelines of your life to be your friend. Friend? <laughs> yeah, so friend, that's what he is to me. I talk to him all the time. I listen to him all the time. Do you, do you by any chance think he, he can be my friend too? Ah, definitely. That is why Jesus Christ came in the first place. Jesus Christ came and died for our sins to bridge that gap. All you have to do is believe in the sacrifice of Jesus with your heart and confess it with your lips and you can have that same relationship with God. Uh, I would really love to. Uh, I mean, if God could heal you, yeah. uh, I would like to believe he can do the same for me and my family, oh, my boys. That's, that's beautiful. Um, I, I would like, love us to you know, share a word of prayer. That's okay, man. Right? Very okay, okay. All right, let's bow our heads. Heavenly Father, David, why are you just coming home? I've been calling your line. I had to go somewhere. It took longer than I expected. But well, you should have called me. I've been worried. Where did you go? My battery went flat. Look, I'm really tired. I just want to go to bed. Okay? What's the problem now? Is it this child's matter you are still dragging like this? I said I'm sorry. And I promise that I will tell you everything from now on. You haven't eaten in this house since Sunday. You have barely spoken to me. You slept in the guest room yesterday, now you are coming home late. Why are you magnifying this small matter now? That is the problem. To you, it's a small matter. You don't care about how I feel. How am I supposed to get the picture of my friend, my wife, out of my picture. head? Picture. There's no picture. Why are you making a mountain out of a molehill now? And you're just punishing me for nothing. I said I'm sorry now. What do you want me to do? Are you sure you don't want some? Mm. Sorry. 
This is me seeing first how pregnancy changes some women. Mm -hmm. First time ever you say no to ice cream. KJ, please, could you move? I want to stretch my leg very oh, well. Oh, sure. Why not? Stretch your leg. Uh-uh. The person that did this pedicure did an amazing job. See your feet shining like that of a newborn baby. Oh, Faith. I was going to call her to give her directions to church. Remember I told you? Oh, yes. She gave her life to Christ, mm -hmm. herself and her friend. Mm -hmm. They're coming to church next Sunday, and I plan to settle them into the new believers class. Hmm. Her number is switched off. Mm. It's late. So why don't you text her the address? Then you call her tomorrow morning. Hmm. Let me call her friend, Gloria. Uh. Hi, Gloria. How are you? Gloria. Why are you crying? What? Oh what my is god. This? Oh my god. Hello? <laughs> Hello? No, 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 no. No, Lord, no, 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 no. What's the problem? No, Lord, no. She died! <laughs> oh, no, 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 no. Can you face that? I'm sorry about that. Gloria says she died in a car accident yesterday. <laughs> okay, okay. This is serious. But please stop crying. This isn't good for you. What kind of Christian am I, KG? I lead someone to Christ and then they die a few days later. Hey, stop it. God, no. Stop it. No, no. God, no. I feel bad, KJ. I feel bad. Why didn't God reveal it to me? He could have told me. I could have prayed for her. I could have been just sitting there on her behalf. Sweetheart, I don't know, and it's sad. Abigail, listen, listen to me. The Holy Spirit prompted you, and you spoke to her at the right time. What if she had died without Christ? What would have been her end? Most times, the Lord wants us to speak to people we either ignore, or we forget, or we delay. And only God knows what happens. Hmm? The Holy Spirit prompted you. You preached to her. She gave her life to Christ. And she will be grateful to you for all eternity. You did well, Abigail. You did well. <laughs> no. Hey, babes, Hi. where are you? I thought I was going to meet you here. Hey, I'm so sorry. I'll be there in 10 minutes. I'm running late. But you should have left the office yeah. earlier. Look, we can reschedule if you haven't left. Don't worry. I promise I'll be there in 10 minutes, OK? Good afternoon, Pastor. Good afternoon. I recognized you, so I said to come and say hi. Oh. My name is Victoria. I came okay. to your church two weeks ago with my friend. Oh, and I um, hope you had a nice time. Yes, I did. OK. Are you here with anyone? No, no. Please sit. Thank Join you. me. It was an amazing service. Okay. You know, my friend invited me, and you know, she's been having this uh, recurring Nessel infection. Mm. And right there and there in that service, she got her healing. 
and the pain was gone. Hallelujah. Praise God. Hallelujah. You know, God said in the Bible that he is the Lord that heals us. So we just thank God for healing your friend and we give him all the praise and all the glory. Mm. Okay. I think I'll be attending your church now. Is that so? Yes. So I'm hoping that we're going to see you next week Sunday? Yes, Pastor. Fantastic. By the way, do you walk around here? Yes, I do. I own a spa. It's just two streets away from here. Mm. So I come here regularly for my lunch break. Mm. Okay. That's good. That's good. And I trust that that business is doing well. Yes, it is. Fantastic. Fantastic. Yes. Fantastic. I mean, why don't I invite you for a spa session one of these days? Really? I know, right? I know, right? There are a lot of pastors live, you know, this mm. selfless and stressful life. Mm. You know, they take care of every other person around them and find it so hard, you know, to pay attention on themselves. You know, find time to come. And as my pastor, to be on the house. <sighs> Thanks for your offer. But no. Me. I'm a very simple person. I don't do spas. I want you to go. Ah. And I said no. Hmm. Young woman, I see fire in your eyes. But if you had read your Bible, you would understand that the eyes of Jesus is a greater flame of fire. And I can, because no weapon of the enemy formed against me shall prosper. Victoria, what are you really doing here? I would like to leave now. You need Jesus in your life. Please, don't say that name again. I mean, the last two months, The healings, the salvation, the prayers, it's affecting us. There's been a bounty on your head and I, I volunteered to stop you. And my strategy was to lure you to the spa. And it works every time. And my defense against your strategy is prayer and God's presence in my life. And that works every time because Jesus Christ is Lord. I beg you, sir, please, don't say that name again. I can't stand it. You don't have to live like this, Victoria. Whatever you've gotten yourself into, there's freedom in his name. God has a better plan for you. Instead of you sneaking around in the dark, you can walk in the light with your head held high. Victoria, give your life to Christ here and now. Can't you see that the power of Jesus is greater than any power you walked in here with today? Besides, he loves you unconditionally and he will forgive you 100 percent. I'm so sorry, babe. Sorry, I'm late. Hi. Abigail, meet Victoria. She attended our church last week, Sunday. She was just about to give her life to Christ. Oh, Victoria, please don't procrastinate, okay? The Bible says today is the day of salvation, okay? It's complicated, and I don't think I'm ready. I would like to leave her. Is this your card? I'll call you. What was that about? I now see why God woke me up early to pray and kept me praying for long hours. You know what? Let's order.
wrong with you? I had that dream again. I was running, he was chasing me till I woke up. I didn't see him, I knew it was him. So why didn't you tell me when you woke up this morning? This is the first time I'm having this dream. I'm tired of talking about it. I just wanted to stop. Anytime my dad talks about me coming back home, it scares me. Listen to me, Lara. This dream is only a reflection of your worries. So yes, your cousin tried to attack you, but thank God he did not succeed. And your dad has already sent him away, so you have nothing to worry about. You have to stop thinking about it. I can't stop. I can't. Yes, you can. You can because 50% of our battles are battles of the mind. And they start with thoughts that come at you like arrows. And you must not allow those arrows to take root in you. You have to resist them. Okay? How do I do that? How? Oh, the word of God. The word of God in the Bible is your shield of faith. So you use that to quench every fiery dart of bad thoughts. Okay? The shield of faith is very powerful. Let me show you something. Oh. Yeah. So imagine that this is your shield of faith, the word of God. Okay. Right. Now, every time I come at you with troubling thoughts, I want you to lift this up and repel me with a verse from the Bible. Can you do that? Yes. Okay. I'm coming for you and you have no hiding place. I dwell in the secret place of the Most High and I abide under the shadow of the Almighty. I failed before, but I'm stronger than you and this time I will succeed. Mm. No weapon fashion against me shall prosper. Isaiah 54 verse 17. Great. Okay. The fear and the memory of what happened the last time will always be with you. Uh, God has not given me the spirit of, of fear, but of power, of love, and of a very sound mind. Alright, so this one is for the future. You are not pretty enough, you are not good enough, and you are a failure. I am fearfully and wonderfully made by God. Oh. I am a choosing generation, a royal priesthood, a peculiar person. I am seated in heavenly places with Christ Jesus. And, and by the power of the cross, I am free. And I am the man of Christ. Amazing. Where did you get all of that? <laughs> So you see, every time your mind is under attack and you feel fearful, worried, anxious or agitated, all you need to do is speak the word of God first, which is your shield of faith, and repel every negative thought. Okay? Come. Hi, baby. Hi, baby. Um, I have something to share with you. Oh, good. So, at good today I preached to one of my friends she gave her life to Christ it wasn't easy but God helped me wow look at my Lara I'm so proud of you you see God has a really great plan for you my darling I need to stay really close to him okay I'll get you another <laughs> Shanu me, Shanu me, Shanu me. To go talk to him and tell him what. But Lord, it's my lunch time. I want to go and eat and go back to the office. I have a meeting in the next three hours. I can come back to talk to him later. It must be now. 
Okay, Lord. Oh, you don't have to twist your tongue to speak up. I had masters in animal science in 1972 from the University of Ibadan, and I can speak English. Okay, sir. Thank you. Can I sit? You're free. Okay. Have your seat. Thank you, sir. What's your name, sir? Baba Matthew. Baba Matthew. And your leg, sir. What's wrong with your leg? I had a cut there six months ago. I have been trying to treat it. It has refused to heal. Uh, and I don't have money to go to the hospital. Someone says maybe I have uh, diabetes. So I've stopped taking sugar. Wow, sorry. Thank you. Your family, sir, don't they know you are here? Uh, mm, I have a large family. And, but they all hate me. I don't blame them anyway. Mm. You see, my first wife had four children for me. Those days, I loved women. I had many girlfriends. You know, she's always complaining. So I have to leave, leave her and, uh, and the children. My second wife was much younger. We had a happy time for a while. But I left her too. My third wife was my punishment. I had so much money then. She took everything and disappeared. I've never seen her since then. I had a job in the university. I should have been able to keep at least a roof over my head. But the devil pushed me. I molested a university student, not knowing that she recorded everything. I was disgraced and sacked. Thereafter, I had no job. My landlord threw me out to the street. I sleep over there at night under the bridge and come out in the daytime bearing my iniquity and sit here in the sun to beg. Hmm. I'm, I'm so sorry to hear this, sir. You said your family don't know that you are here. Do you have the number of anybody that we can call? I don't have a phone. Even if I have a phone, I, I don't have their contact. I, the last person I spoke with was my uh, last daughter, Uraola Mati. That was many years ago. Uraola Mati. Yes. I know a Uraola. We went to the university together. I have a number. Let me let me call. I, I don't know if it's my Wuraola you are talking about. Hello? Hi, Wuraola. Yes, um, how are you? How is work? Okay. Um, so I'm here with a man. He says his name is Baba Matthew. Yes. Yes, um, he's fair in his 70s. Yes, we are in front of the test board. Okay. Okay, thanks. Yes, that's um, Wura. She's, 
She's in Lekki. She came around for a bank transaction. So she said she would drop by. No, 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 no. I, I, I don't want her to, to, to come here. I, I don't want her to see me like this. Don't. No, no, you look just fine, sir. You're okay, sir. Uh, uh, by the way, why would you stop and talk to someone like me? It's not me. I heard God in my car as I parked. And he said, go talk to that elderly man. And in my work with God, I realized that he's in the business of healing and forgiving everyone. Baba Matthew, God loves you. And he wants you to be his son. All you need to do is just believe that Jesus Christ died for you on the cross so that you can have eternal life. My daughter, I, 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 I'm ready. I, I have no value. I, if Jesus will accept me, why will I say no? I'm ready to accept him. Okay. Let us pray. You come to see me? I got married last year. And I was looking everywhere for you. Oh my God. My mom told me she didn't know where you were. I wanted you to be at the wedding and to meet my husband. Oh, I, I, Why are you sitting I, out here? I, I'm really sorry. I'm sorry about it. I, I let... All of you down. It don't wonder you all hate me. I can never hate you. I remember when I was so young. We were so close. That's true. That's very I'm taking you to my home. You have to meet my husband. Yes. Your home? Yes. Oh you know, my God. He's my dad. Oh my Our God is a wonderful miracle worker. Oh See how he has reunited you both together. <laughs> ah, God is Urala. good. I have to take him home. Urala. I have to take him home. Urala. 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 My daughter. But before you go, I'm very worried about his leg. Yes, yes. Please, can we pray? Yes, please. Heavenly Father, we thank you for Baba Matthew. We thank you for this leg. Father, we pray that in the name of Jesus, you will do a quick work of healing on this leg. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Na brondo zondi abakaja de gezedi abraka bakaja dalaba. Rakele di ala de gele bro kolondo go zondi abara de gezedi abraka bakaja de gezedi aba. Na di abro ko zondi aba. Father, we pray that you stretch forth your hand and heal this leg right now. In the name of Jesus, Amen. we have prayed. Amen. 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 Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you, thank your friend. Thank you so much. I'll be forever grateful. Thank you so much. I'll call you when we get Thank you. Baba Matthew, let's go, let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Thank you, darling. Thank you.
oh, he's definitely going to do much, much more with your family. It's only just beginning. He'll do much, much more. Wait, let me, let me call you back. Where are you going? Ha. Auntie, where are you going? Where are you going? Why are you in my way? Ha. I'm going to spend a few days with my mom. Oh, oh, oh what's, happening? what's happening there? Oh, why the sudden interest in me or what I do? Eh? You have moved to the ha. guest room. You don't eat in the house. Oh, you don't talk to me. For the first time in my career, I got a query on my job just because of all this that is that, that, that is happening. Let me go to where I can have some peace. Please wait, excuse me. Wait, wait, wait. I'm, I'm sorry. I overreacted. Eh? I overreacted. Let's I talk about care. what happened in the office. I don't care. I don't care if you overreacted or not. Excuse me. <sighs> so, how long do you think you can watch this door for? Let's, let's Even if it has 4 a.m., I will leave. Let's talk, mm? let's talk about this. Have you forgotten I have my own keys? Let's talk about this now. <laughs> Don't touch my bag. Okay. Timmy, I'm sorry. I'm sorry, my bad. I'm really sorry. Let, let, let's talk about this. Not now. Uh -uh. No, now. Don't, don't be like this, Tinu. Okay, I'm, re I'm ready to eat now. Hmm? Tinu, please, now. Please, maybe when I get back. She went for night vigil, so Lara and I will spend the night here. Mm. Huh? Lara, please take Didi here. Go to the kitchen and see if you'll find any snacks. Okay? Mm. Careful, Lou. What he has been doing to me. Now you have the effort to call you because he doesn't know what to do. Since Sunday, today is Friday. He has not spoken to me. He comes back late without explanation. He doesn't eat at all just because of what Charles did. Is that my fault? Eh? So I told him, I want my peace. I want to go to mom's. I told you are tough. Now you can call my sister. Calm down. Everybody makes mistakes. But you know, you have said he's sorry. Hmm? I told him I was sorry too. But he did not listen to me. Do you even know how many times men hit on me? Or even Abigail. Abigail, tell him now. He doesn't understand. The only thing that should matter to you is that of all the men in the world, I chose you. And I love and respect you. And I would never, ever look at another man. It's okay, Timmy. Hey? The only thing I want to say to both of you is you cannot afford to allow your arguments to generate to this level. It's risky. And this can balloon into even bigger problems. Tino, you, know, you know this. Hmm? You can have your differences, but you have to sort it out and trash everything. Even the Bible says, don't let the sun go down on your anger. All I was thinking about when I went to Charles was how my husband was going to recover. 
I'm the one that is always there for people. Eh? I don't know. It's okay. You know that God is using us in unprecedented ways. And when God is doing great things in our lives like this, the devil will look for a soft spot and target. And in this case, it's our homes. Hmm? As we go into battle in ministry, we cannot afford to leave our rear unguarded. No. No. Abigail, you're all right. You're right. Tino, I'm sorry. It's okay, it's I was wrong. I promise, I promise this will never, ever happen again. I'm sorry. What Charles did is wrong. But even Charles is now working it out with God and his family. And by God's grace, his daughter is now fully recovered. We thank God for that. David, David, if God can forgive and restore Charles, then you should too. Okay? I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I was foolish. I'm sorry. Please forgive, Please forgive me. Hmm? Yes. I smile for your husband. Smile now. Ah! Thank God. Anyway, yeah, I'm going to look for something to eat. I hope people will have fresh fish pepper soup. Ha. <laughs> Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord, people. Hallelujah. You're all welcome to another house fellowship. This week has been truly amazing. And I'm so happy to see new faces in the room today. Like Baba Matthew, Sister. Vicky, Gloria, and Damilari and his wonderful wife. You're welcome. You're welcome, everybody. So today, we'll worship God, take some testimonies, and hear what God has to say for us today. Okay, so um, Sister Kike, can you as usual take us into the presence of the Most High God? Praise God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. All right, we're going to be taking a worship song, but please, we'll remain seated, but make sure that your heart rises to God because it's our heart that God is after. Let's take this song to worship him. Glorious God, beautiful King, excellent God, I bow before your throne. Glorious God, Sister Kike for another wonderful time of worship there. So we'll take a few testimonies and um, I will share what God laid on my heart. Any testimonies in the house? Yes, Baba Matthew. Uh, I want you all to please help me to thank God and this lady. In fact, she's like um, an angel in my mind. Last, this time last Sunday, I was homeless, begging with a severe sore on my legs. She laid hands on my leg and prayed in Jesus' name. 
and I was healed completely. Not that at all. I'm now reunited with my daughter. And I have a home. And the best of it all is that God has forgiven me all my sins. Still found me on the street. But now, I promise by the special grace of God to go back to the street. But this time around, to talk to people about Jesus. Hallelujah. God loves Baba Matthew. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And we all love Baba Matthew. Yes, we do. love you, Baba Matthew. Yes. Thank you. Yes, please, Dami. Thank you, sir. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Um, by this time last week, I was actually considering suicide. Wow. Yes, and that's because my two sons, they have hearing impairment. Well, last week, my colleague here, David, he led me to Christ. Hmm. And then he came to my home and he prayed for my sons. And now their hearing has improved. <laughs> Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. And the doctors, they've told us that we don't have anything to worry about. Praise God. Praise God. My heart is just so filled with joy. Hallelujah. <laughs> Hallelujah. God is always our healer, yes. Jehovah Rapha. Yes. yes, 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 yes. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I'm still finding it hard to process this. I lost, I lost my best friend this week. But my testimony is that she gave her life to Christ a few days before she passed away. And I now believe that she's now with Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Anyone else? Sister Vicky. Praise God. Hallelujah. I want everyone to help me thank God. He delivered me from dark things that I myself am yet to fully understand the whole thing. And he used us for Mrs. Abigail. Thank you so much, Ma, for not giving up on me. Thank you so much. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Let's put our hands together for Jesus. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. You see? All this is further confirmation that God is starting something new in our midst. The world needs God and he wants to manifest himself through us. Christianity is no longer about just attending church on Sundays. God wants us, that is ordinary people like you and I, to go out into the world and be a light. He wants us to preach the gospel, to make disciples, and ultimately build his kingdom. God wants us to heal the sick. He wants us to do miracles, and above all, to teach people to love and obey God. Mm. The world is waiting for our manifestation, and the harvest is ripe. God has promised to empower us and to back up every word we speak with signs and wonders. God is said to do great things. We have a lot of work to do. And the big question is, are you ready? Hallelujah. 